Hey everybody, let's give this projectile motion problem a try. This is from OpenStax chapter 4, number 39. So projectile motion, so you just think all the formulas in the world, what do you know that pertains to such a problem? And then we know these. And for velocity, okay, and I'll just number these. Okay, so what's the initial speed of the projectile? So all four of these include speed, so we need a little bit more information. We know the angle, we know the time where it lands at the same height as it was launched. So that means I know the final position. Not this, but the final vertical component. So it lands at y equals zero. So that means why don't we use this formula right here. Okay, so it lands on the ground at the same height as it was launched. So this is zero. And based on my the coordinates that I picked, I put the origin right here. I put x over here and y over here. So y naught is zero. V naught y, based on my coordinates, v naught x is v naught cosine theta, v naught y is v naught sine theta. And then gravity's this way, right? So x is here. So ax is zero. And then ay would be negative, right? So ax is zero, ay is negative g, based on the coordinates that I picked. Okay, so v naught y would be v naught sine theta t ay is negative g, so negative. Okay, and then what do we know and what do we not know? I don't know this. Theta, 30 degrees. T, 20 seconds. G, 9.8. So look, there's only one unknown. So you just solve for that one unknown, v naught. over sine theta t. Okay, oh, I can write that nicer maybe. Just t squared over t, and then the two goes in the denominator. So there we go. That's part A, initial speed. What's the maximum altitude? So that's here. How high is this? Let me just call it something, h. Okay, so how, how high is that? And what's so special about that maximum height? The velocity kind of looks like this, the velocity. So at the maximum height, look right here, the velocity is horizontal. So that means there's an x component, but no y component. So at the maximum height, vy is zero. So I can use this formula right here. And at the maximum height, that's zero. Zero. V naught y is v naught sine theta. A y is negative g. Okay, so what do we know and what do we not know? I know the initial velocity now from part A. Theta, we know it, g. So like this. So what this is, that's the time that it reaches the maximum height. So we can solve for this time. So this is the time at which it reaches the maximum height, which is not what it was asking. It's asking for the maximum altitude. So which of these four formulas has to do with altitude? This one. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to jot that down. OK, 
Okay, and then what do we know and what do we not know? This is y is what we're looking for. So we don't know that. This is 0. v not y, we know it. Time, we don't know. Or do we? Right here. So that goes right here. So that means, let me just rewrite, this is that height. This is 0. v not sine theta. And this is our expression for t we just got earlier. I'll just put that right here. Plus a y is negative g. t squared from right here. Squared. Okay. And so that's it. We got the maximum height. Well, let me simplify it a little bit. So these combine. And this, let me write that nicer. Okay, so there's a 2 in the denominator, g over g squared. So g, and then that whole thing squared. Okay, and look at this. v naught squared sine squared over g, v naught squared sine squared over g. So I can factor out 1 over 1 half. So There you go. So this is the maximum height. That's part B. What is the range? That means how far is this range? I'll call that range R. And what do we know and what do we not know? So horizontal means I'll use this one. I know the time it took to land, right? 20 seconds. I know the initial velocity from part A, right here. So we know everything here. So we can answer that just by using this for part C. Okay, part D, displacement, again, that's these two. And what do we know and what do we not know? We don't know these two, but everything else we know. We got the initial velocity right here. The time is 15 seconds, so you just plug in values and that's part D. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Keep on studying and then I'll see you on the next video.